Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Brooke, and it's going to be a quick video on the Rangers acquiring a good undrafted forward that is really worked his tail off in Frank Petrano to become a very steady, solid NHL player that has an absolute, honestly, Frank the Tank or Frank the Missile would probably not be a terrible nickname for this undrafted kid because he has an absolute tank show when he's able to grip it and rip it like we actually saw in his last game. Um for the Florida Panthers when he was able to score a beautiful one-timer give-and-go in order to win it in OT. Frank Vetrano has an absolute laser. The only way this kid, honestly, at this point could have been undrafted, which is obviously, we say that's about certain guys at times. Uh, when it came to Kaprizov going in the fifth, guys like Garland going in the fifth. Um, obviously, Pavel Dostoevsky, where he went. But there's certain guys that you would say it might be an oversight by people to not take him sooner. I would think Frank for Toronto has to go into that category. I mean, the guy for being an undrafted player in 379 games has 157 points, 93 goals, and 64 assists. He's a guy that's a very good undrafted goal scorer. If you can set him up, he might not create his own shot that much, but if you can set him up, he's had 24 goal seasons, 16, 18, and then 10 this year when he hasn't been utilized in as much high-octane spot because we still saw him grip it and rip it with the Rangers. I think he's going to be a pretty good fit because the other thing that Fatrano does um, differently than most guys that are his size is he kind of has that different gear where he, he's an undrafted kid, so he knows he has to find different ways to get to the NHL level. So he plays bigger than 5'9", in my eyes, where he doesn't have fear of trying to go through people, trying to get a, win the along the boards battle, even though he's a smaller kid, or trying to win a battle in the middle of the ice, even when there's bigger guys going for the puck. Uh, Frank for Toronto to me is a guy that fits on any of your lines, whether you can slide him into the third line, you put him where Dryden Hunt is at times on the second line. He offers you a lot more flexibility, which is also what they have with Dryden Hunt. So I think this team has a lot of forwards that offer flexibility in the Gauthier's, uh and the Hunts that aren't even as good to the level of Toronto. And now they were able to bring in Vetrano. They have a great fourth line with Reeves. Uh, Greg McKegg is even a solid fourth line player. I mean, this team, they kind of just put it together. Whoever comes up, whoever has to play, they're able to just <clears throat> get the most out of them if you're Gerard Gallant. And that's a huge uh, success story for him, just like he was able to do the first year in Vegas. Dryden Hunt's been a good player to mix in there. Uh, Barkley Goodrow's obviously been a good player. And then Heidel, Vetrano, I think that's going to be a very nice line because Vetrano can skate really well, um, which Calf Friendly has him listed. I would say 5'11". Uh, some stuff has Frank Vetrano listed as 5'9", others have him listed as 5'11". I think 5'11", when you watch him, might be a little bit generous. Uh, but he's definitely a smaller kid and a guy that uses um, that, that just extra gear and extra jam to his game for being an undrafted kid that he seems to play. Even he, He's not afraid to go to the dirty areas, and he definitely has a great wire of a shot. So it was nice to see him get an opportunity. Um, maybe now with a team in the Rangers that is going to get more of an opportunity now that Florida has kept loading more and more of their core and guys keep coming up. Obviously, Dennis Sanko is going to be up there eventually if he doesn't get traded where they already have the Rudells and other stars up there as youngsters. So they're just eventually was going to be odd man's out where New York obviously has a good prospect pool. But for this year, I think Frankie Vetrano and the way he plays the game, being able to score at at least a third line level, uh, if you can get it to him, has one twenty four goal season in the NHL. And then also is a guy that is not afraid of no one, even though he's a smaller kid. Those are guys you want to have in the postseason. So nice pickup for a fourth-round pick by the New York Rangers. They must have saw that one time, Golden Knights. Bruins said we need some of that on our team. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below. Up above and easy to use with to keep the channel growing. The 2-15 by the end of March. Really appreciate your love and support this far. Enjoy the hockey, everybody.